bullshit. Regrets. Uh, do you have any regrets? Yeah. Do you believe in regretting? There's two lines of thought. You should never regret, and there's people who say, I try to live my life without regretting because you can't go back and change things that have already happened. If an opportunity arises, I like to take the opportunity as opposed to turning it down. If you don't want to live with regrets, you just have to say yes to almost everything and do it. So I try to live without regrets and I don't like to regret things I've done in the past. Do you want to invest in my channel with a generous $100,000 investment? Um, you don't want to regret it. <laughs> Let me get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay. So you generally try not to regret? Yeah, it, and it's something I don't, I try not to dwell on it because it's just going to pull you down. If there was one thing you could say you regret, what do you regret? My biggest regret in life was probably going to university. Wow. That would have affected my life greatly because I probably wouldn't have come to Korea. And that's not where the regret lies. The regret lies in I've got a degree in marketing that I've never really used. And I think I probably could have been a little bit more productive if I'd got a trade, whether it was cooking. Just something that you can use anywhere in the world, whether it was getting plumbing, whether it was carpentry, even being a cameraman or a photographer, these are all skill sets that you can use almost anywhere in the world. So you feel like your degree was a little bit too broad and it didn't give you a specific trade? I think I could have used my degree, but I think it would have been better getting a real life skill that you don't need to go to university for. Like you can go into the workforce and you can learn from someone in, you know, a year or two years through an apprenticeship or other methods. But yeah, I regret not having a skill set per se. You know, being a photographer, there's a skill set. You know, whether it's sound engineering, there are different skill sets. Marketing is not so much of a skill set per se. Like if I was to go to China and get into marketing, I need to at least speak the language. Yeah. But if I'm a photographer, language is not as important if you can create great photos, the language kind of goes out the window. While this is a regret, do you find yourself using regrets and using it as knowledge to pass on to, for example, friends or family? Yeah, all the time. Like We live in a society where it's almost an expectation that you go to university. And I say to people, university is not all it's cracked up to be. Not everyone needs to go to university. If there's something you're passionate about, like in the States, once you graduate from university, you're like $100,000 in debt. When my children get old enough, I'm going to say, if you don't want to go to university, don't go. You're an awesome dad. Make sure you do what you want to do. And if you can make a living out of that, great. But university should not be a measure of success in life. I have to graduate from university, that means I've succeeded in life. No, that's bullshit. What about yourself? Regrets. Do you believe in regrets? Do you regret anything? My biggest regret is coming to Korea. I hate Korea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You almost had me there for a minute. <laughs> Damn. 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 Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no. Um, well, first of all, I believe in regrets. I think about them all the time. That's um, why you never get me sleep. Yeah, I think way too much about shit I should have done, could have done. That's why I'm so anxious to try new things all the time. That's why, and, and that's what I was saying before is about not turning things down because then you're like, I wonder what happened if I had have done that. And before you go to bed, you're thinking about that. And it's yeah. like, nah. I think my biggest regret is something that I should have. Uh, this can be taken as a little bit dark. I used to have more than now a bit of a hot temper you mm -hmm. you, you yeah, know yeah, that yeah. and i burned quite a bit of bridges mm -hmm. and i think maybe it was smart in my own way to distance myself from people but instead of burning bridges i could have simply distanced myself yeah. from people and i don't know how old some of my viewers are you could be younger than me you could be older than me but if you ever feel you should burn a bridge, instead of outright burning a bridge, sometimes just distance yourself because you never know how that person could change. You never know if that could be a productive relationship later on in the future. Especially since we're all people, we're all humans, we all make mistakes, we, we, we all go through personality changes. And I think if I had just been a little bit more patient with certain people, I could have had different opportunities or better opportunities. I think sometimes there are bridges that do need to be burnt. Absolutely. But you have to choose them very wisely. Especially for petty things. Like if yeah. somebody doesn't call me back right. two times and I'm just like, F this guy. Yeah. And then I never talk to him again. I, I could have just been like, uh, you know, maybe he's not a good friend, but I didn't have to just go out and write and tell him F you and now he hates me. And for me, it's you have to choose your battles wisely if you want to win the war. And the war being life. If you want to succeed in life, you can't win every little battle. Sometimes you have to like take a loss. Nobody's ever won every battle to win the war. 
you win some, you lose some. So you just have to choose them very carefully and say, okay, is this one worth fighting for? And if so, what am I willing to lose over it? That's huge. And sometimes bridges do need to be burnt because sometimes they're just so toxic relationships and sometimes it's just worth burning, but yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know if the people will see this video, but if you do, this is me saying, I'm sorry I burnt our bridge. I don't know if you guys enjoyed us getting a little bit, I guess, uh, in our deep. feelings, <laughs> deep, but um, me and Sam, I don't know if you guys know, we have a podcast now through Dive Studios. Nonsensible is the name of the podcast <laughs> with Sam and Dave. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, you can find it on Spotify, on YouTube, we've got highlight clips, we've got a YouTube channel which also has the full YouTube video as well, on Instagram, Twitter, we everywhere. We would love any support on this podcast. This is something Sam and I have been wanting to do for a long time, and we finally got the opportunity to do it. We've got interesting people joining us in the studio, guests that we're inviting in, and like this, sometimes we talk on deep things, sometimes we talk on very shallow things, sometimes we get very into our emotions. So it's, it's just a random mix of things smashed together, and it's, it's just like sitting around at home on the couch and shooting the shit with your friends. Make sure to visit our podcast, leave a review, and uh, we'll see you next time. You're with Dave. And Sam. Peace.